How old is he? 16.6 pounds. Oh, wow. He's 70 years old. His name is Colin, and he would cost $240.70. That's a one pound lobster on top of him. So oh, just wow. to tell you how big his body yeah, is, yeah. the tail of the small lobster is right at the end. And if he would have his beak, the beak of the small one would be the same length, yeah, just yeah. the body. The so size of he, the tail. Is, is he more aggressive than the small ones? No. Or not really? No. Oh no, they're more feisty, these little ones. The size of his tail is the size of my arm. And he's 70 years old? Yeah. So how long can you live? They must have caught bigger ones than that even. The biggest one caught ever was recorded was 45 pounds and it was caught between Yarmouth and Maine. The US wanted to claim him, Canada wanted to claim him, so I'm not sure who got he it again. The size of his big claw is that size. Come for my hand. That's crazy. My hands are probably yeah. a little bit bigger than yours. And he's already, he's not even mad that you're touching him, man. Eh? No, we became best friend there for a while. <laughs> I'll leave him alone after for a while. The size of his little legs are the same size That's of my fingers, obviously. He's got a few little barnacles on him. Yeah, that's how old. This is still an old shell. When you look at his big claw, they've been scratched around the rocks a lot. So when you're going to cook him, that part is going to turn black. Oh. Yeah, the rest will turn orange. So somebody will buy him, you figure? Or they keep we were hoping for Father's Day, but I guess there's nobody that deserves a nice lobster. All the dads were bad this year. <laughs> So, so even though he's that old, it, was it, is it the meat still just as good as the small ones? Yes, it is cooked properly. Because of his size, uh, a small lobster like that, every gallon of water you're going to put in your pot, you're going to add three quarter cup of salt. Okay. This big guy, you're going to add a, a full cup of salt because you want the salt to really penetrate through the meat, right? Yeah, yeah. And for his size, he would take two and a half hours to cook. Oh, really? What you're gonna put your water boil it. Yeah. You're gonna once your water boil, you're gonna dunk him in there. Wait till your water reboils. Comes up the temperature. Once it reboils, let him simmer. So lower your temperature of your heat. Let him simmer for two and a half hours. If you keep him on a high boil, he's gonna to be tough. Oh, His okay. tail's gonna to cook too fast. Yeah, so yeah. Gonna, it's like a steak. Yeah, yeah. Cook and then all, all the meat inside here will be, will be tough. Yeah, yeah. So if you let him simmer, He's going to cook slower, the salt will really be able to penetrate to his meat so everything will be nice and salty and his tail will cook slower so it will be a lot tender. That, that little thing's alive, there's something comes yeah, out of him. They're, they're still alive on top of him. What are they, just like a little... Just little barnacles. Just like a little uh, sea creature? Like... Yeah. They, they clean his shell. They take, they take a free ride. Pretty much. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah.